The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it and this should be something special on the pitch. It's Barcelona. They take on Sevilla live on EA TV. Well, this wonderful city offers the visitors so much, including football. Barcelona, of course. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Barcelona against Sevilla. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Pedri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Saul starts alongside Gibril Saul in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And so the match is underway. Lewandowski. Good distribution. Can't miss. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Away again here, one nil the score. And unable to keep possession. And Sevilla will get the throw in. Gibril so. Oh, breezing past him. It needs an accurate cross. And this is Navas. Pulls it back. And how about that for a save? Well, Sevilla can't do much more than that to draw a level. That was a brilliant save by the goalkeeper. The danger here as he runs at them. And able to close down the shots. Oh, given away. Great opportunity. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, they're still in it, but Sevilla are going to have to play a lot better than this. They need a reaction here. And straight out of play off the keeper's boot. It will be a throw-in. 
de Jong. Pedri. Frankie de Jong. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, sitting deep here, almost inviting the pressure. Rafinha. Oh, this looks useful. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Day. Saul might be able to set up the chance and offside all the way. struggle for both sides on the possession front here Christensen wonderfully weighted pass play then Barcelona throw coming up did well to clear it away and showing the importance of wind a really good run targets available cross comes in in it goes but wait a minute that will not count well that was tight but he was just offside it was a good finish though not thinking it through Balde well he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw in getting in there to take it away Loic Bade Isaac Chidera Ejuke. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. One goal down, but now a corner kick. kick it'll be here oh great vision
Ejuke. It's with Saul. Pedrosa. Strong but fair tackle. Lewandowski. And a shooting chance for Lewandowski. In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. There it is, the half-time whistle. Well, dazzling Danny Ormo, I think we might say, based on the first-half performance. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Barca with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Rafinha. Danny Olmo. De Jong. Lewandowski. Well, that took confidence. But start defending when it mattered. Chidera Ejuke. Well, the corner kick it is. What can they do with this one? So they look for inspiration. So a personnel change then. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And he clears the danger. Saul. A good and fair challenge. Rafinha. Danny Olmo with it. They've seeded possession, Barca. Oh, what a top-notch pass. Lewandowski. Rafinha. Sevilla have the ball again. Ejuke. Now he must favour the cross. And it's gone behind for the corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Making sure nothing came of it. Suso with it. Saul. Not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Frankie de Jong. It's one thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. Frankie de Jong. Pedri. Danny Olmo with it. De Jong. Moving the ball really well here. 
distributing it well. Now veering in field. While well, the chance has been missed, no other way to describe it. And they're making a change. Sosa. It's with Saul. Goudel. Suso has it. More than decent passing sequences, but they need a leveller. Lovely ball over the top. And offside, unfortunately. Danny Olmo. Nice looking pass. Lewandowski. And possibilities inside the box. They're all doing their bit to keep them out. So. To an attacking position, it's not too late for them. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Well, it's been a fairly tight battle out there, and the Barca fans are doing everything they can to drive their team over the line. What a finish we have here. Rafinha into the advanced position how about the cross oh, big opportunity he's blocked it well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner someone get on the end of this it might still be problematic plays it back and just wide of the target in the end well good effort but I think the goalkeeper did have it covered Luca Bacchio. Marcao has it. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Goudel. Suso has it. Iannaccio. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. And the referee closes his result for full time. No joy for Sevilla and their fans. No points either. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. What a really good moment in this game, courtesy of Danny Ormo. Not that that comes as any great shock. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.